Hello everyone and welcome to 13 Frights Before Halloween 2022. I am excited to be here and to be part of this collaboration hosted by Sandy and it includes 11 YouTube crafty designers. I'll have all of their information linked down in the description box for you and every Monday we will come on and share a new Halloween project and tutorial with you. So that is so exciting. I hope I can keep up with it. <laughs> But I am really excited to share this week's little project with you. It is a fun and fast little item that you can use over and over again. So I'm Jackie of Jack Scraps. Let's get into the project. So here is the project I created for our first week. This is a folio card and it measures four by six. So it is the perfect size that you can mail to someone, you can add it to a gift, and it won't be very bulky. So on the front here, we have a belly band closure. Super cute. And for the paper collection, I used Bewitching Hour by Country Craft Creations. This is still available on her website. I will have that link down below for you as well. So I loved this paper with the girls around the cauldron. Just adorable. Here is the back side. I love this paper as well with the gold little drops there. Now let's go inside. So this flips open to the left and we open up to a nice little spread. We have a belly band on the right side and underneath I included this journal card. I love the little ghost in this collection, super cute. All of the paper is gorgeous in this collection. On the left hand side, we have a top tuck. I included this journal card and added a cute little ghosty face there. Now the premise of this folio card is that you can fill it up with lots of photos and you can even add some journaling. We could add like a white card on the back of these journal cards and then you could write your note to whoever it's going to. These are great if you want to capture an event. So this one is Halloween. We would put our little Halloween photos in this and then send it off to whoever it goes to. But you could also do this for other holidays or seasons. And I'll show you another project that I created using the same design. Okay, so let's flip this open to the right. And on this side, we have a long um, side tuck here. Inside, I included this journal card. Brooms are five cents. <laughs> I'm going to leave these out for a moment just to share the beautifulness of this paper right here. I love it. And what I did on the center is I used photo corners here and here so that you could actually put in a 4x6 photo that was cut down. Now we will take the centerpiece and this flips up. And that's the whole look there. In the center, we have another tall pocket here. And inside, I included this journaling card. I put a little tab on the top of it. And again, you can add photos to the back side. Love this. And up top, we have another flip out. This flips out to the right, and the top one flips out to the left. You have three great spots to add photos. So there's what it looks like when it's all fully opened. And that's it. That's the folio card. Super easy to create, but it is a wonderful little project. I just love this. I'm so in love with it. I had to create another one. So let me show you what that one looks like. Now for this next one, I used Echo Park, A Slice of Summer, which I picked up last year from Country Craft Creations. And I wanted to do a summer folio card to share that with you as well. Now I won't be doing two different types each time, but this time it was just so fun and easy to create. I had to do it. So on the front of this, we have our belly band closure as well. I added a hello summer tag with some twine here. We have this beautiful lemonade stand on the front and then I accented that on the back with lemons. 
When we open this up, we have a pocket here with a journal card. Again, you can add photos on the journal cards or stick them into the pockets. And I even left this open down below so you could tuck something under there if you wanted to. And on the right hand side, we have a long side pocket. I included this so sweet journal card. And here is that beautiful paper. Now let's flip this over to the right. In the center, we have a little tuck spot here, a great place to add a photo. This says, oh, happy day. I put in this journal card that has um, space for writing just to show you that you could add a little note here to the recipient, or you could add details of the event for the photos that are in your folio card. On the right-hand side, we have a top tuck, sun, sand, and nothing planned. And this good vibes journal card cute little campers. When we flip the center up, this one is a little different. We have this beautiful paper up here where I've used photo corners here and I also used photo corners down here all in the center. This flips over to the right. We have another great area for a large photo here using photo corners. And then in the center here, we have this summer state of mind and this flips open to the left and the bottom one flips open to the left as well. I use little flags here which are open on the bottom so you can tuck something underneath there. And then in the center we have another large photo area and I added photo corners there as well. Lots of fun. Just love this one too. So this is what we're creating today, a folio card. Now let's get to it. So we're going to take our 12 by 12 piece and we're going to score at four, eight. You're gonna rotate once to the right. You're going to score at six and nine. And you're only going to score at the nine inch mark all the way down to the first score line going across. So nine to the first score line here. Then we're going to take our piece, we're going to rotate it two times, one, two, and you're going to score at three all the way down to the first score line going across. So this is how it will look. You'll have two lines going off here. You'll have one six by four piece and three six by four pieces down here, little blocks. Now we're gonna do some cutting. You can use scissors or you can use your cutter. I'm going to start up here where the two small blocks are on the left-hand side, and I'm going to cut on the first score line all the way up to the first score line going across. Now what we're going to do is fold this up and we're going to cut down on this score line here to the first score line going across. Let's go to this side where we have the two three by four blocks. We're going to cut on this line all the way up to the first score line going across. And we're gonna cut on the second score line going up to the first score line going all the way across. Now we're going to cut out the first block by cutting here up to the point where we cut that out. So this will also be folded inward. You can go ahead and burnish that. This piece will fold down. Now I'm going to make a top tuck out of this piece that folds down. And because that is going to be really long, what I've done is cut off a portion of it. So this now measures one and a half inches wide. And the best way to cut that is to fold these pieces in Fold this down to the center, fold this in, and then fold this over. And so your piece would be like this. 
then you can put it in your cutter and then, or use your scissors and cut this basically in half like that. Okay, I hope that makes sense. One of the great things about doing a folio like this is that you can really design the top portion any way that you like. So we have only these two pieces left after we've done all our cutting. You could use these in the design elsewhere, or these are just scrap pieces. Okay, so like I mentioned, if you haven't folded on all of the score lines, go ahead and do that now. This is the way that we're going to be folding everything. This will come down in the center. This will be a top tuck right here, and this will be folded over. Now, what I've noticed when doing um, projects like this is sometimes you have to cut out a little bit more so that everything folds properly. So you'll see here on the edge, I actually cut out more of the paper. So it's really just like cutting out the score line. You would cut on either side of the score line and just cut that little piece out. So that's basically what I've done here. I hope that makes sense. I actually went around and did it elsewhere. I also did it here. And what I did here was when this is folded over, I just made sure that it's on this side of the score line and that it wasn't coming over into the next block. So just pay attention to that. If it doesn't seem to be folding well, then you need to cut out just a little bit more. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I have it all folded up and ready. I'm going to go through all of the matting of the Bewitching Hour paper collection that I use to create this in case you have that on hand. So I'll give you all the measurements, all the pieces that I used, and then in the end, we will add a belly band closure over the top. Okay, for the front cover, I used one of these six by six pieces that's on a 12 by 12 sheet. And I cut this down to three and three fourths by five and three fourths. And that's going to be your basic size for a lot of the page mats. So this will go here on the front and it will give you an eighth of an inch border all the way around. On the inside left, I cut out this little piece to go at the top of our tuck spot, and this measures three and three fourths by one and a fourth, so that would be there. And here is my matting piece, and again, this will measure three and three fourths by five and three fourths. So just know that all what I'm gonna call the matting pieces for the pages are going to be that measurement. So this goes down at the bottom. Piece will be glued on the two sides, folded down, and then we can glue this piece on like that. Now I'm showing you where all the pieces go, but I will not be gluing this with you. I'm going to do that offline. And here's the journal card that I picked to go there, as you previously saw. Now let's work on the middle piece here. So for this piece, I used this decorative paper and I ended up cutting out just this portion of the pumpkin that I wanted. So whichever face that you like, you could strategically cut out that image to go there. So that has the, the base page size of three and three fourths and five and three fourths. Okay, so for this page, this is all I cut out. I thought about cutting around the pumpkins so that you could tuck something in there, but I think I'm just going to leave this and maybe add on some photo corners if you want it, in case you want to add a photo there. I really just like the image. So on the right side, I used the plaid paper again. I just really love that. And I liked the look that this provided here. So this is the same size as the base pages. And then I cut out a piece that measures one and a half by five and three fourths to be a side tuck spot right there. Now let's go to the front side of this page. And here is the decorative paper 
And then I got this image from the cut aparts. I actually cut off the end of it. There was another ghost here. And I'm going to use this as a belly band. So I'll glue it here and here. I just thought that was really cute. So that's how that one will go. And since we're here on the back side, I just cut out another base page just to have something on the back. It just seemed naked. <laughs> okay, so we've got everything. Now let's go to the, the center piece here. Now in the center, I cut out one of these. There was a 12 by 12 sheet that had 12 of these and there are four by four little blocks. So I cut one of these down and actually this measures three and three fourths by three and seven eighths. So that will go here. And then for the back part of it, I cut out a piece from the back side. I'm using one that measures three and three fourths by two and a fourth. So this will go in the back and it ends up creating a little pocket so you can uh, tuck something down in there. Okay, now we're working at the top and for that, let's start in the center here. I have my base page. I was going to put white photo mats here, but I saw this wood paper and I thought, well, that's practically the same thing. So I'm using those on the inside here to go like that. So then you can put your little photos on top of that. On the back side, I'm going to be adding the paper that has the bubble bubble toil and trouble. So these will go on the top. So I have given you all of the measurements for this little folio. And like I mentioned, I'm going to put this together offline, but that's how you put that together. Okay, so I am back and I have everything attached and all of my items tucked in. I did add this little element there. I added a tab onto this journal card, added a spooky face there. Did add my little photo corners here and here. And now we can do the belly band. Okay, so I'm starting with a piece that is nine and three fourths inches long by one inch wide. So one of the first things I did was take this and put it in the location that I wanted and then I wrapped this around the sides. But what I also wanted to do is to be a little loose. So I thought I might put in some score lines to help with that. So what I'm doing is just, I'm just gonna place this on the board wherever the score line lines up from it being folded over. And then I'm going to do like an eighth of an inch score mark to both sides. And hopefully that will help. Okay, I'm just gonna burnish on that a little bit. Doesn't need to be pressed in there really hard or anything. There, I think that will work. I think it will go up and down more easily. Yeah, it just needed a little something to make it a little looser than just wrapping it around. Okay. So now that I have that done, I'm just gonna hold this on here without gluing it shut or anything because I want to take the two elements that I'm using. These are from the cut aparts. I've inked everything with Distress Oxide Black Soot. And I'm going to go ahead and add my images here. Just think that's cute. and then glue your two ends together. I 
Again, just make sure you can get it on and off without any problems. Yeah, that worked out really well. Well, that's the tutorial for the folio card. I hope you enjoyed creating this. It's so fun. I just really love it. If you create one, please tag me and post photos. I would love to see it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks a lot, everyone. I'll see you next time.